Hello, my name is Mr. Hilbert, and today we're going to look at how to strike an arc with an arc welder. Before we can start, though, we need to know a few things about what we're doing. In particular, we need to know what type of rod we're going to be using. This here is E7018 rod, and it's an eighth of an inch in diameter. With that information, we need to go and figure out what our settings are going to be. So go ahead and follow me, and we're going to go look at a chart. Okay, so here's our chart, and the first thing we're going to look for is our electrode diameter, which is, again, an eighth of an inch. We can come across here until we find our 7018 mix right there. So our amperage is 115 to 165 amps. That's a pretty big range. We come up, we find our diameter, we find our rod, and that's what we're going to use. All right, let's go on. Well, okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure our machine settings are correct. So we're going to make sure that for E7018 we're set with uh, program number one, and we're running about 125 amps. That's where I like to run. You guys can run at some other point. All right, I'm going to do a dry run of the three processes I want you guys to do. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is just do a, stri a, a strike, a strike it so like a match. So I've got the power off. We're going to practice striking the arc. So you're just going to drag it across the steel like this, and that will strike an arc. The next thing we're going to do is strike it like a match. Oops, that was there we go. So, and step back. And step down. Bingo. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is do a strike and pause. So you got to strike and pause. Strike and pause. Strike and pause. After you've done that 10 times without making it stick, we're going to go ahead and do strike, pause, and move. So strike, pause, and move. Strike, pause, and move. Strike, pause, and move. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do this now live with actual power in the system. But before we do that, you need a welding hood. So let's go ahead and set that up. So now we've got power. You can hear the, the ventilation fan just kicked on. And we're going to go and do practice striking an arc. So here we go. So that big bright arc at the end of the uh, strike is our arc that we want. Now we're going to go and practice a strike and pause. So that was strike and pause. We struck the arc and then we paused and we fed the rod in a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and do strike, pause, and move. Here we go. And that is how you practice striking an arc. I want you to do each of those things, strike, strike and pause, and strike, pause, and move 10 times each without sticking the rod. Thanks, have a great day.